Hey guys, this is Frankie. Now I'm in Sarasota at Celery Fields. Had him change his shirt after spilling coffee. So we're gonna go out. Um, protest doesn't seem as big today, but we'll go out and give him a little bit of attention and uh, because it's a worthy cause. And who knows, I might go to Big Cat afterwards again. All right, let's flip you guys around. Thanks for coming out. Thanks. I hope you came out. <laughs> yeah, I came out. Good, I'm teasing. <laughs> Alright, so last time I was here, there was a ton of protesters up and down the street. A little hot. Maybe a lot of people want to do the beach thing. Is that got some Amish people? I'm live again. Yeah. You want to talk again? No? <laughs> you get stage fright. All right, let's see if we can find, we'll talk to Louie, Luigi. Yeah, we'll go this way. Yeah, Frankie, hey. Nice to see you. All right, so there's where the restaurant depot is gonna go. And the biggest concern that a lot of people have with it is that they will be approved for the zoning, but then the zoning can pass to another entity without, as long as they meet the zoning requirements and they can do whatever they want there. Um, the other concern is the recycling plant, which is going to go over there. And the problem is, is if you look at this road, one of the main problems that the county commissioner, I think it was Nancy Dieter, questioned is the road. You can't expand it any further. So you got the two lanes up and down. And at the end of it, where I'm pointing is a neighborhood and uh, elementary school. Um, and then that's also obviously where Celery Field is down in that direction. Right where you see that hill there is Celery Field and then across the nature area. And which is concerning a lot of people. Yeah. yeah you're, you're the gentleman that did the interview. Yep, you're live now. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. No, that's fine. I just really enjoyed your interview with Luigi. Oh, okay. And oh, when, when I was out in Sarasota at Five Points? Five Points. Yeah. And unfortunately, I was standing behind and he put it on his Facebook. Uh, <laughs> no, it was a great interview. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll, we'll talk to Luigi here in a minute and see what he has to say. But that's basically the main concern is the road can't handle it. The elementary school, there was a teacher during my last interviews, the last time I was out here, that talked about the uh, traffic concerns. No restaurant depot, that guy got, had to sign up right now. Save salary fields. So I, I think they were probably hoping for a larger turnout than this. But let's see if we can talk to someone. They have a petition up there. Hey, Luigi. Yes. You want to give me some content and talk uh, a little bit about sure, it? Sure, sure. You're live now. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, Frankie. Thanks for coming out. We love your. We love Scoop News, brother. <laughs> thanks. Um, what can you tell us? Tell them a little bit. I tried to explain the road concern. The other thing is the ownership, which is what got the council stuck when I was watching the last meeting. Yes, uh, for a change, the Sarasota County Commission uh, all raised their eyebrows when the lawyer for the restaurant depot, which is not a restaurant, it's going to be a huge warehouse, industrial warehouse here, when their lawyer started speaking and talking about ownership from uh, Abu Dhabi, South Africa, and real estate investments trusts. I know about those because I own one. I've owned a real estate <laughs> investment trust for 20 years. And the big thing it was the my secrecy there, right? Yes. And they, they, they're, they wanted to know exactly who was behind these, uh, these dummy companies, just people. Now, what's the names of, what, what are the names of the people? That's all they wanted. The guy, their lawyer, could not supply those names. So a pro-development Sarasota County Commission voted five to zero to table the issue. So now we have until uh, August 26th to put more pressure uh, 
on to the county uh, for this particular issue. Here. Now, do you have some concern? Because I think there's precedents where they've moved forward with trust, but I know Charlie um, Hines was concerned about it. Because he's like, I don't know if my family members in this trust. Exactly. We don't. We don't know who are in these trusts. We just want the names so we can actually contact uh, human beings instead of corporation. For me, I remember Frankie. I told you this a while back. This stuff's all connected. For me, this goes to Citizens United. People are corporations, and if people are corporations, they have the they have the right to present themselves as a corporation and not tell us who they are, what they're doing, and how much money they're putting behind the issues. So it all boils down to money and politics. Were you a little positive with Nancy Dieter's question regarding the ability to expand the roadway? with Because it's going to be, what, 140 recycling trucks with the recycling? Yes, and on the other side of this tree line over here, there's already approval for what they're calling the transfer station. So if, if the gentleman gets a hold of, or his company gets a hold of this parcel, you can bet your bottom dollar that that tree line is going to come down. Okay. And it's going to it's going to become one complete recycling transfer station. And you know, a lot of people want some light use out here. I'm not speaking for Stand Up Fight Back SRQ. I'm speaking <laughs> as Luigi Veracci. Yeah. I don't want anything here. I'd like to see a community garden. I'd like to see this uh, left for the people, or even just open green spaces. Of course, we're losing all our open green spaces around Sarasota and Manatee and all over the state of Florida. Yeah, it's happening. As you, as you know, I post it all the time, different yes. developments. Um, yeah, because that's one thing I think I was worried about, or Nancy was hitting on, is all those trucks driving down this lane and not being able to expand it. No, and you and that's going to be a major issue, I think. To it's, me, it seems like a major concern. And, and yes. I was... Ha I was confident that Nancy was viewing it that way and I don't know how that would reflect on her vote though. Well, we will see. One one important point here is there is uh, Tatum Ridge Elementary School is out this way. Out that way? Okay. 600 students. Now, even though I live uh, three kilometers east into the celery field, on the other side of that tree line, southwest, yeah. my kids are in Hintville Elementary which has another 600 kids, or 700. So we're looking at a possibly 1,500 kids going to these schools, and a lot of parents drive. Not everyone takes the bus. I don't know why. My kid has to take the bus, or he doesn't eat. That's just the way it goes. I'm just kidding there. I'm just kidding, but that's the way I always grew up. <laughs> I think that's Don't eat your dinner, you're going to <laughs> yeah. bed. Yeah. So anyway, the congestion of the people trying to get their kids to school and back with all the all the traffic issues here, for me, overflows into less commerce for the packing house district where, where it's a time management thing. If a parent has to spend 20 more minutes taking their kids to school, they may not stop at that Weiler's to get that ice cream cone. They may not stop at at JR's to get a quick to-go thing. They have to get home because they have other responsibilities. So my estimation is the impact of all this is going to affect business in a negative way in the Packing House District. And that's how I'm going to approach this personally and, and at the county commission meeting when I speak. I'm going to speak from a merchant's point of view because that's what I did my whole life. I own brick and mortar shops. Uh -huh. I know how they feel and we're going to talk about that. Awesome. Okay. All right, and when's the, do you know when the next meeting yes, is? Yes, it is uh, April 26th and at the county commission. There's there's conflicting times. They're usually at 9 o'clock, but someone said the afternoon. When we get closer, we'll announce and they, the exact And they plan time. on discussing it that one? You yes. It's going to be on the agenda? It's the, well, it was on the agenda two weeks ago, and it just got tabled. So the same issue will come up. There will be 50 or 100 of us there that are going to speak. <laughs> And the week before that, we're going to have the call-in like we had up at Mosaic uh, for the phosphate mining. We're going to have a call-in day to the county commission, and we're also going to have a, a potluck at Fogartyville, most likely, a week before. They get more momentum closer to the date of the uh, county commission meeting. And, and I'll put that out for you guys when you get Thank there. You. Just one note, I don't know if you caught this. Before, it was either the same meeting or a meeting the day before, Legacy Trail, had 200 people in there with yellow shirts on. Oh. And Nancy, I put out this little uh, quick thing on it because Nancy Dieter's like, I won't be, we won't be intimidated with 200 people in yellow shirts going in here. I thought, intimidated? <laughs> and, and they don't want the emails sent to them. They're like, don't email us. It does oh. nothing for me. I just delete them. I'm like, Are you we don't me, care Nancy? if they don't want the emails. <laughs>
you're getting the emails whether you want them or not. That's how it works. All right. Okay, man. Well, best of luck. Thanks, Luigi. So it's out here. These guys are only out here until 1 o'clock. If you're in, here in Sarasota and you want to stop by or stop by and honk your horn. Um, again, it was a larger uh, show up last time. Not as good this time, but still a lot of people still concerned. There were about 100 people that did show up to the county commission meeting. Um, I watched via online. So if you can get out here and support them, that'd be great. All right, this has been Frankie. I'll talk to you guys later.